Good morning, everybody. Um, it's good timing that I happen to be wearing a Beyond Blue shirt. Um, anxiety. Whenever you have severe anxiety um, at a, a party, you seem to have to choose between having anxiety in the party, so most people choose not to go to the party anymore. Um, then you have severe anxiety at work, and some people start choosing not to go to work. You have severe anxiety when you go anywhere around friends and people, so people stop going around friends and people. Um, you have severe anxiety when you to sleep, so you know, people stop having the ability to sleep. Um, you know, you have severe anxiety when you're awake, so people start medicating the things that make you feel better. But, common denominator is always anxiety stays and, you know, it's like because that's the easy option to get rid of the other things you know to not go to the party to not go to the friends to not go to work um, because you know that seems to be more in our control the problem is when you finally got rid of everything that anxiety tells you is the problem even though that motherfucker is really the problem um, whatever drives and causes that inside, chemically, emotionally, mentally, whatever it is, um, you get left with one choice, one last choice. You have anxiety in life. And that's the worrying part of the decline of mental health and depression. People have that one last choice. Get rid of anxiety or get rid of their life. Um, for me, when I faced that, um, I chose life. Um, and it's been fucking hard work living every day trying to get rid of anxiety um, still there still waiting to take the mic um, at any chance uh, that it gets and still you know makes me question every time I'm going to go to work whether I choose work or anxiety I choose work for my family but anxiety still comes along for the ride if I go to a friend's house you know, for a long time I've chosen to stay away from my friends, my best friends. Um, not because I chose anxiety over my friends, but because my anxiety came with me. So it made me difficult to understand and be around with my friends, you know. So that makes your friends start turning off you too, because they don't understand why you're a miserable version of yourself, you know, a whinger a complainer or the other end you now you're smashing yourself with alcohol so that you can um, still function as a as a fun person around them so um, just watch for that decline in your in yourself and watch for that decline in your friends because that's the path that you'll see choose anxiety letting it win and shrinking their circle of places where you can get the better of until that final, you know, last choice. Um, life or anxiety. So that's my take on it. I'll keep fighting every day for my family. Um, some people aren't as stubbornly arrogant as I am um, to, to want to keep fighting. Or maybe they just don't have the family that I have that's worth fighting for. But look after your mates. Are you okay day this week? Um, shouldn't have to be a yearly thing. Should be a daily thing. And that's why I keep talking about keep your friend circle tight. It's the only way you can truly have enough time to make sure that your closest friends and family are, are um, staying on top of mental decline. All right, love you all. Have a great Father's Day. See you soon.